Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Ensan Augustin. Please, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe as to God, the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to look at how to differentiate this simple question. Now let's look at it. Differentiate the inverse tangent of into bracket 1 plus tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent of x. Now join me as we go through this uh, derivative within a short minute. Now, for this one, you see that you have the inverse tangent containing this function. So this is a composite function or a function of a function. So we are going to use uh, the chain rule. Now, we will take u. Wow. You will take u to be equal to 1 plus the tangent of x divided by 1 minus the tangent of x. Now, this implies that the original question will now become the tangent inverse of u or the inverse tangent of u. Now, let us find the derivative of u with respect to x. Now, in finding the derivative of u with respect to x, we will use the quotient rule. So here, the derivative of u with respect to x will be equal to, we will differentiate the numerator and multiply it by the denominator. So we have 1 minus the tangent of x times the derivative of 1 plus the tangent of x. Minus, we differentiate the denominator and multiply it by the numerator. So we have 1 plus the tangent of x times the derivative of 1 minus the tangent of x. All divided by 1 minus the tangent of x squared. Now, if we differentiate 1, we get 0. If we differentiate tangent of x, we get secant squared x. Times 1 minus tangent squared x will give us secant squared x times 1 minus tangent of x minus, we have minus here. So let's do the minus first. If we differentiate this one, we get 0. If we differentiate tangent of x with respect to x, we get secant squared x. And there's a negative sign there. So we are going to get minus 1 plus tangent of x times negative secant squared of x. All divided by 1 minus tangent of x all squared. Now, here we have negative times negative to be positive. So, you can put the positive there. First. And now, we have secant squared and secant squared. So, we factorize the secant squared out. So, I'm going to have secant squared of x into bracket 1 minus tangent of x plus 1 plus tangent of x all divided by 1 minus tangent of x all squared and here negative tangent of x plus tangent of x will give us 0 so we will be left with 2 times secant squared of x divided by 1 minus tangent of x all squared as the derivative of u with respect to x. Wow. Now, assuming we get the original function to be equal to y, then it means that we have the inverse tangent of u to be equal to y. 
So now let's find the derivative of y with respect to u. Here, the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to the derivative of the inverse tangent of u with respect to u. And this is a standard derivative which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus u squared. Very, very simple as that. And what is our u? Our u is equal to 1 plus the tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent of x. So here, the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus the tangent of x divided by 1 minus the tangent of x. And since u is squared, you square this. Wow. So now, this is the same as 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus tangent of x squared divided by 1 minus tangent of x squared. And this is the same as 1 divided by here the LCM is 1 minus tangent of x all squared. So you multiply it by this, you have 1 minus tangent of x all squared plus 1 plus tangent of x all squared all divided by 1 minus tangent of x all squared. And since you have 1 here, you can turn this one upside down to get 1 minus tangent of x all squared divided by 1 minus tangent of x all squared plus 1 plus tangent of x all squared. Wow. And I think we can simplify the denominator further. So let's do the simplification of the denominator. So here, this one will be the same as 1 minus tangent of x all squared all divided by here you take 1 squared is 1 2 times 1 times negative tangent of x minus 2 times tangent of x and if we take negative tangent of x squared we are going to have plus tangent squared of x plus here 1 squared will be 1 2 times 1 times uh, tangent of x will give us plus 2 times tangent of x and if we take tangent of x squared we are going to have plus tangent of x sorry tangent squared of x so here, minus tangent of x will cancel positive tangent of x. And what are we going to have? We are now going to have the derivative of y with respect to u to equal to 1 minus tangent of x all squared divided by 1 plus 1 is 2 and tangent squared of x plus tangent squared of x divided plus 2 times tangent squared of x very, very simple as that so you learn how to expand this by multiplying this by itself so 1 squared, 1, 2 times 1 times minus 2 tangent of x, give us minus 2 tangent of x. And you take negative tangent of x all squared, it will give us positive tangent of x. Tangent squared of x, that is negative tangent of x all squared. Negative will become positive and this will become tangent squared of x. Very simple as that. And then you do the same thing to this one. To get 1 plus 2 times tangent of x, 
plus tangent squared of x. Wow. So now we are good to go. So we can take the derivative of y with respect to x to equal to the derivative of u with respect to x times the derivative of y with respect to u. And this is equal to 2 times secant squared of x divided by 1 minus tangent of x all squared times 1 minus tangent of x all squared divided by here we have 2 here and we have 2 here so you can factorize the 2 out ok let me put it there first ok so 1 minus tangent of x all squared will cancel 1 minus tangent of x all squared and you will get 2 times a secant squared of x all divided by Two times one plus tangent squared of x, and here you see that secant squared of x is the same as one plus tangent squared of x, or one plus tangent squared of x equal to secant squared of x. So any of the substitution will be highly recognized. You know that one plus tangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x. From the basic trigonometric identity. So I'm going to put 2 times secant squared of x divided by 2 times secant squared of x. And this will give me 1. So the derivative of this is equal to 1. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.